The Last Night is an upcoming cinematic platform game being developed by Odd Tales and to be published by Raw Fury. It was expected to be released worldwide sometime in 2018 on Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Xbox One. Gameplay The Last Night is a 2.5D cinematic platform game, where the player controls Charlie, a person living a lower-class existence among the rest of society that is living in an era of leisure, and where computers and machinery have otherwise taken over all menial work. The player can have Charlie explore his city, talk freely with other citizens, get involved in gunfights, and includes elements of stealth. Topic development The basis of The Last Night came from a six-day cyberpunk-themed game jam that brothers Tim and Adrian Sorat participated in June 2014. Their browser game of the same name won for the best overall game and best aesthetics out of 265 entries. The game VA11 Hall A also resulted from the same game jam. They described it as Blade Runner plus Delicious Pixels, with heavy inspiration from cinematic platformer Flashback 1992, along with Another World 1991 and Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey They used pixel art for the game jam, being the easiest to implement in a short amount of time, and starting with the styles set by gods will be watching and sword and sorcery as these game's characters with long, spindly legs were easier to animate. The brothers made the Game Jam version of their game available for free download at itch.io, allowing others to try it outside the Game Jam. Several outlets praised the title for its visuals that captured the atmosphere of Blade Runner and other cyberpunk works. At the time of the Game Jam, the brothers had been working on a fantasy, Studio Ghibli inspired platformer called Behind Nowhere, but the response from both winning the Game Jam and gaming media's commentary on it led them to shelf this game to focus on the last night. They brought in a few additional team members to form their studio, Odd Tales, and develop The Last Night in full. Among changes was to create their own pixel art style. By October 2014, the Sorits had announced plans to release the game for Microsoft Windows and PlayStation 4 with an anticipated 2016 release. In expanding their development, the team decided to create the game around the idea of post-cyberpunk, in which the narrative focuses on a character anchored in their society rather than adrift in it, a statement describing the genre made by Lawrence Person on Slashdot in 1998. Adrian, the younger brother, left the project in December 2016 to pursue his own career. In February 2017, Raw Fury announced it would help publish the title for Odd Tales. The game's first reveal was shown during Microsoft's presentation at Electronic Entertainment Expo 2017 in June 2017, as a Xbox One console launch exclusive alongside the Microsoft Windows version. The game was expected to launch worldwide in 2018. Topic. Controversy Following the game's premiere during Microsoft's presentation at E3 2017, Tim Sorat was noted to have previously posted statements around 2014 and since on social media that were seen as pro-gamergate, and anti-feminism. Coupled with the descriptors used within the game's marketing material, such as, second-class citizen, and gamified existence, which were seen as aligned with these views, some took to Odd Tales and Raw Fury to have them stop publishing the game. Tim replied following this that his stance from his previous position has since changed, and that the last night was in no way meant to be commentary surrounding the Gamergate controversy. He apologized for his past tweets while on stage during the PC gaming show the next day, stating, They don't in any way represent where I am today or what the last night will be about. Raw Fury supported Tim, stating, the comments Tim made in 2014 are certainly surprising and don't fit the person we know, and we hope that everyone reading this who knows us at Raw Fury on a personal and professional level knows that we wouldn't tolerate working with someone who portrays the caricature of Tim going around the internet right now. In an interview with Vice, Tim Sorat said that while The Last Night has themes that others see as right-wing, such as criticizing the concept of universal basic income, his goal with the game is not to be critical of these elements, but only to describe a world that took a certain trajectory to implement these elements, for better or worse, and explore the new problems that were introduced. 
Sorek compared this approach to the movies Gattaca and Wally, neither of which he felt politicized the situation and further supported the belief that the tweets had been overblown by a few people trying to create a controversy to benefit themselves. The controversy around Sorek and The Last Night led to the situation being called a milkshake duck, a meme introduced about a year prior but that gained wider usage following this controversy.